All right, Shalom, Akim. Shalom. It's the high spirit we're in Judah of the Jim of the Jim Mississippi camp. Giving out honor and glory to Yahweh yeah. by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem Rakaku I also want to give double honors to our apostles, the great millstone rule well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. All right, I'm Zahab to my right. Zahab. All right, and we out here in nature, all right, at the Ross Barnett Reservoir, all right, just walking in the spirit, all right, and uh, we was, we've got a lesson, all right, that we want to do. It's entitled Surviving Esau, all right, it's inspired off the series, all right, Surviving R. Kelly. Because according to Esau's world, the Israelite man is the bad guy. And that's yeah. the worst thing that happens since sliced bread. All right. But in actuality, all right, the real monster, the real uh, pedophile, the real sicko, okay, is Esau Edom. It's amazing because the moment you said pedophile, Esau <laughs> rode on the bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's confirmation. <laughs> but, yeah, so, you know, those those little girls may have had to survive our killer. We don't know. But the nation of Israel and the and the planet Earth had to survive one man yep. called Esau Edom. All right, so we're going to go into a lesson, all right, entitled Surviving Esau, all right? Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. <clears throat> For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Yeah, the accuser of our brethren, because what Esau does, he reports our behavior and see how about Shmuel Shai? But the thing is, he influences our behavior through the media, through something called culture. Like the uh, piece of bio always breaks down black culture. All right, culture goes back to cultivate, to groom. So you groom us into a state of wickedness, man. Social engineering. Social engineering. But then you go out and say, "See, look at them, Most High." That's like you you put the bottle to us to drink, then you report us. Yep. You call the police on us, and we get a DUI, man. All right. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Yep. Which accused them before our power day and night. Yep. And that's the that's Amalek. See, the twelve tribes don't know what the hell is going on because you're inside the laboratory. Mm -hmm. You're the experiment. The the Israelites inside these cities in America, even in the suburbs. All right. The reason why you don't understand that this ultimately goes back to a spiritual battle, a spiritual war. Because you're the experiment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're in the laboratory. That's why we entitled this thing Surviving Esau because it's like we're stuck in a madman's laboratory. Yep. We're in this rat cage, man. That's how he shows the videos. Or you could go on Google and you can see the rats eating the MSG. All right, or the high fructose corn syrup cube. All right, then you saw the pitas all get fat. That's us throughout the years. Eating low-grade food in the hood. Yep. All right? You trapped us in, with our vices in our environments. And it's looking impossible to get out of this situation. It's looking impossible to get, get out of this situation, man. All right. I got a quick precept. All right, come. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 15. Woe unto him that give his neighbor drink, that puttest thy bottle to him, and maketh him drunken also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. And ultimately, that drink that you gave us was Christianity, right? Democracy, your Western thought, your Western ideas, because that, that deviated us. All right, that separated us from the laws in the mind of our power. All right, the thing that, that we get our power from is our alignment with Yahweh Shema Shai. But we adopted your Western thought. That's like taking that bottle to drink, man. And now we're spiritually drunken as a people. All right, but now you have us. It's like a date rape pill. You find like you you get a you get a drink for somebody, and they put a, a, a date rape pill in your drink. Now you wake up as a hostage in their house. All right, that's us in America. That's us on the planet Earth. All right, we're 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 attempting to survive Esau Edom, man. All right. I got for you. All right, come. All right, Micah chapter four verse eleven. Now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, let her be defiled and let our eye look upon Zion. Yep. Let her be defiled. Well, what? The philosophies of the heathen ultimately the philosophies of Edom. Mm -hmm. All right. The damn serpent, man. Hey man, you a fucking hey. The 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 souls of Israelites are defiled, man. All right, we're we're in a we're in a spiritual prison. Like the brother Yash broke down, you know. Basically, the planet Earth is a prison for the twelve tribes. That's what Deuteronomy twenty eight is like a prison for the twelve tribes on the planet Earth. But it starts in a with a with a spiritual prison, man. All right, we're stuck in your a spiritual matrix, man. All right. Psalms chapter 50, verse 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, 
thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Yep, and that's us. We're, we're your mother's son, all right? Thou slanderest thy own uh, mother's son. That's us, man. Jacob. Jacob, all right? And you've been after us ever since we took that birthright, man. Mm -hmm. And ultimately since the garden. Yep. All right? Because the, the, what happened with the birthright... That was just the, the storyline. I mean, although it actually happened, that was just to connect us right back to the beginning, which was the garden, then Cain and Abel, you know? Yep. All you right. know, a, 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 a fugitive and a, a vagabond, you know? It's going to be rejected of the planet Earth. That was the original thing, yep. you know, but he flipped the narrative. Now you walk in the building like, who, it's like, who the hell is this yeah. guy? That's why he makes us out to be the thug yeah. and the criminals. yeah. That's that's what you that's what you call a, a psychopath, man. That's they call it a form of they said it's a form of gaslighting, where a psychopath gets a, a certain group of people and flip the narrative. Now they're the bad guy, man. All right, all right. Back in Revelation, Revelation twelve and eleven, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Hey, this is how we survive Esau Edom, man. Mm -hmm. Through Yahweh Shmuel Rashi. All right, not by bearing arms. All right, not by starting a bunch of businesses. All right, it's coming back to our power, our source, our source, which is your how about Shema how side. There's only one way out of this thing, man. All right, that's why you know the scripture we were talking about before we started recording. All right, going back to um, Exodus, okay, where Moses lifted up that serpent. Mm -hmm. Then going back to what was that in John, where it said if, I, uh, if if you lift up my name, I will draw all men unto yep. me. Yep. Yeah, I was just saying, if he was lifted up from the earth. Yeah, he was lifted up from the earth to water. I would draw men unto me. So starting with, you know, Abba Bivens going down to High Priest Aria, all right, to Elder Pastor Har on down. All right, the energy and the vibration of the name has been lifted up on the planet Earth, and he's drawing the sheep unto him. Yeah, it's all about that name. It's all about that name. And that's the one thing, and that's like that shepherd. His name is like that shepherd, all right, that protected us from the wolf. That's that, that's that shepherd that came with their staff, all right, shooing away the wolf, man. But then, like you said, that uh, that brazen serpent that Moses lifted up, yeah. you know, it was uh, it was used for healing, to yeah. heal Israel, because it was dying. And it's heavy because, you know, the staff of Moses, or Aaron, all right, that staff became a serpent, and it dominated the serpents of uh, Pharaoh, mm -hmm. all right? So, Yahweh Shai is going to be the only thing that really heals us, man. Cause when you get when you get somebody from a, a hostage situation, you have to they have to um they have to be healed. It's not only one it's one thing that you rescue them, but they have to be mentally healed from that trauma. Yep. So we're when we woke up to our, when we woke up to this knowledge, all right, we're still here, but we're mentally and spiritually healing from this place. Suffering from the wounds. We're suffering from those wounds, man. Because hey, two thirds of our people, all right, they're not even in the process of healing. Nah. Hey, that's why. Uh, coming into this knowledge, all right, it requires us to let go of certain poor habits. You got to sit there and analyze the things that you addicted to that became a habit that's not even from nature. Most of the things that's a part of your life, all right, it's something that was formulated in a laboratory. Think about how many Jakes, all right, think about how many Jakes uh, love junk food. What What is a hot Cheeto? What's a nine later? What's what's the result of chasing some whore? All right, Esau totally destroyed family culture. He demonized family structure, but he's uplifting promiscuous women. All right, we got to be delivered from this man, and it's a form of bewitching because it all starts from a victim storyline. You know, women are being uh, oppressed. You know, <laughs> women are being oppressed, man. You know. Yeah, man, that trauma is definitely there. You know, it's it's crazy because, like you said, you know, the two thirds of our people they're not being healed now, but we're being healed by the word. We're being healed by Yahweh Shai. Basically, this truth is a uh, it's like a spiritual rehabilitation center. Mm -hmm. Like you got somebody, like you said, um, you know, we, we went into a backup. You saw, gave us that bottle. Yep. You know, so we, we, no, no, so we got to sober up now. We got to sober up now. <laughs> so that, that what the truth is doing. You know, yeah. we're, we're being rehabilitated. And hey, we have withdrawal symptoms. Yep. I said, help the things that you're addicted to. The reason why you're addicted to it, all right, because it was formulated in a laboratory, all right, like the food you eat. Mm -hmm. The reason why these diets are so popular, because it really causes you, all right, to detox from how eat. Uh, how, hey, hey, how you doing? Know. It really causes you to de detox from how Esau fed you, all right? 
you got whole you got whole movers somehow going celibate. You know, you got whole movers somehow li- leaving porn alone. You got whole movers somehow leaving processed food or going vegan. Really, they in so many words, they withdrawing from the poisons of Esau. You know, now you got women talking about you know being feminine again. What type of shit is that? You gotta you gotta make a platform on YouTube to show a woman how to be feminine. How to take care of your natural hair? You supposed to? That's your hair. Yep. You know we we're, we're we're hey we're so hey, we're unplugging man. But I'm willing we make it to those chariots. The reason why the elect are gonna be famous because it's like damn look at it's gonna be clear it's gonna be clearly seen what hellhole we came from. You made it out of this. You made it out of this because even us as men, some of the stuff that we just see every day is not normal. So it's gonna take somebody outside looking in and be like y'all made it out of that. You know? I got something for you, too. All right, come on. I'm going to finish it off back in Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. They survived Esau. They survived Esau, man. <laughs> Through something that our our big brother did. Mm. Our big brother did 2,000 right, years ago, man. That's right. He did that. That was a future investment for us now. All right? And by the word of their testimony. And hey, going showing you that we, we have to go out and teach. Yep. You know, and they loved not their lives until the death. Cause we were woke, we were woke in the matrix, catching hell in the matrix, man. You know, there's nothing in Babylon that's worth living for, man. You know, the most exciting thing in this truth is the only thing, and that's the truth. Everything else is not a promise to it. Nope. You don't know if you're gonna be with the same woman. You don't know if you're gonna have the same car, the same living situation. Those things come and go, but this truth. And that's that one, and that's why it's so precious, man. All right? Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11. As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, yep. I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, Woo. wherein is no water. Yep, and this is, we are the prisoners. Babylon is the pit. And there's no water, there's no, uh, there's no truth here, mm -hmm. no wisdom. All right, that's why it's so easy to manipulate our people because they have no spiritual foundation. All right? You have no standard to compare what Esau was saying to. You just get sold off what sounds good. That's why I said the blood of thy covenant, going back to the blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb, man. That's the man. only way to overcome. That's the only way, man. And it's nothing that we did. We were bought with the price. The price was with the blood of Yahweh Shai. And you know, which is beautiful. But Lord willing is us. Hey, going back to second Ezra, the second chapter, around the 40th verse. Hey, we received palms for making it about this bitch, man. We see crowns for making it about it this, man. Doing right. the impossible. Doing the impossible. It's like a simulation that you made it out. Those final tests, the guillotine, you know. We're not looking forward to it, but we know that that's is, is already written, you know. But the, 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 the majority of the battle, all right, is what we're going through now. And that's the spiritual war, man. Because if we're not constantly somewhere involved in this truth, it's almost, by default, your spirit is subject to the, the vibration of Babylon. Yep. Susceptible to all these elements. It's all these elements. Out. You know how many demons come to you in your dream, in your subconscious, man? It's like they program you in your subconscious. So you'll wake up, you know, succumbing to your vices, man. Or right, you'll wake up with weird thoughts, man. Esau, Esau, you know, spiritual demons saying it's planting... <laughs> You do, you know, planting you to go astray, man. Because the reason why they're doing it because you have something inside your mind that's very precious, and that's called the truth. All right. Yep. And the men that make it up out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> like like you said, these men are gonna be celebrated. Yeah, man. And I got a scripture in Isaiah forty nine. Come. This, this deals with how the Israelites are gonna be brought back to the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. And um, and and this is written dealing with the perspective of our land yep. you know what our land is saying Isaiah chapter 49 verse 21 then shalt thou say in thine heart who have begotten me these yep. seeing I have lost my children and that's our land talking like it's a woman being mm -hmm. personified as a woman yep. and these are us yep. going back to Israel All right. I have lost my children and I'm desolate a captive and removing to and fro and who have brought up these yep. it was in America it was in America Cause it said we uh, that we'll be nourished for a time, and that's who brought us up. <laughs> we were brought up in Babylon. You know, it's like a woman has some kids, 
They was raising the, you know, see they get they get ticket from her, yep. but they're raising the projects the whole time. So she's like, who like who who brought me these? I got a little bit more for you. Okay. Behold, I was left alone. These where had they been? Hey, have you you remember the movie Twelve Years a Slave? Okay. You remember that scene where they took that woman's children, and she was just crying the whole time. And eventually Solomon North, but I think he told her to shut up or something. But it's like they got there from uh, Second Ezra, where uh, Israel was personified as a woman and she was crying. You know, that's what that reminded me of. Everything in scriptures. Everything is in the scriptures, man. But the point is, man. Hey, we survived this thing, man. I'm willing. And we were already bought with a price. We were already bought with a ransom. And it was the blood of your how about the blood of your how was shy. It's a lot. Yep. And what we're seeing is that the real Israelites gonna fight. Yep. You know, if you're a real son of God, we're going back to Jacob. Jacob had wrestled, you know, for for his blessing. You know, he, he uh, wrestled with the angel. You know, when we overcame the angel, you know, he had told the angel to bless him, and the angel blessed him, and his name was changed to Israel. Yeah. You know, so. Hey, by us surviving this, you know, surviving this simulation, surviving Esau, we're going to be worthy enough to be called the sons yep. of the power. Yep. The sons of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That's right, brother. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But you know, I, I got one more for you. Come on, come on. And this deals with the uh, the great multitude, which are also under Esau, because we're, we're under the same demon. Uh, like you had said, basically, the whole earth right now is a prison planet. Yeah. You know, so... We in Babylon catching hell, but you brothers that are abroad, you under the same, same Edomite. All right? yep. This is uh, Revelation 7 and 9. And after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, which are Israelites, mm -hmm. scattered, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Yep. Going back to 2 Ezra. Mm -hmm. And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. All right, number. I'm going to jump down, get to the point. All right, uh, verse 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? Yeah. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, Woo! and have washed their robes and yeah. made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Wow, hey. Hey, they washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Hey, in second instance, we took off the mortal and put on the immortal, mm -hmm. you know? But well, that's the that's the killer scripture. That's the that's the set in song scripture right there. All right, that would that's amidst everything that we were talking about. All right, surviving Esau, Edom. We overcoming this place, man. Right, so dealing with the hell we catch right now, and also going into, into uh, Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble, that's man. Great tribulation, man. Which is coming. Yep. Which is coming. We believe that nothing is going to stop in reverse. This is just, this is the beginning of the end. Mm -hmm. You know, but you have any closing statements? That's it, bro. With that, we hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Mm -hmm. Once again, we want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh yeah, by Shemmy yeah. Havashai by Shemmy Kakodash. Double understore our apostles of the great millstone. We well. Peace and best of the house of David the elect. Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. Come here, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.